So, Vladimir, can you tell me where are you from? Yeah, it's Latvia. From Latvia. From Latvia? Uh, Oksana, will you explain a bit more, since Vladimir's English is not uh, very good, what's happening with uh, Vladimir? Where is he from? Uh, Vladimir, uh, Vladimir is from Latvia, uh -huh. but uh, he has a very special kind of status. Uh, he's a non-citizen of Latvia. A non-citizen? Yes. What does that mean? Uh, it means that uh, um, he has the right to live in Latvia, he has the right uh, to run some jobs and to pay taxes, to contribute to the prosperity of Latvia, but uh, he uh, can't be either elected or even just participate in voting. So he doesn't have, uh, although he lives in Latvia, he has no citizenship and he doesn't have uh, political rights. He is deprived of some political rights, although uh, he has this kind of legal status of being a non-citizen of Latvia. Uh huh. That's really very strange. Somebody who, and why is this so? It's people who came to Latvia at some point, and Latvia does not want them. What is the problem behind this? Um, it's a very tricky question. Yeah, actually, uh, the authorities of Latvia uh, explain it uh, by um, um, by the necessity to. Uh, restore the sovereignty of the state and um, uh, they uh, lost sovereignty, Latvia lost sovereignty uh, in 1940 and um, they, uh, me, uh, well, they became independent again uh, from the USSR in 1991 and uh, uh, it is um, in the constitution of Latvia um, that uh, uh, the sovereignty which uh, they got in 19. 91 actually comes back to 1940 and there's this period of time between 1940 and 1941 just ceases to exist. Okay, so it's like wiped out of history. So all people who came to Latvia at this period are just wiped yes, out. Yes. Okay, I understand. But uh, I understand that you have been an uh, active citizen about this in Latvia and uh, in Russia too and that recently you had a terrible story and you don't know where to go right now. Is that true? Um, I was... I live in Latvia after the prison and I was invited to Finland by some politicals and politicians, politicians and journalists. Uh -huh. So, and uh, when I uh, go back to my home in Latvia, I was stopped in Estonia and their uh, secret police told me that I am persona non grata in their country and they sent me back to Finland. <laughs> I told him maybe I, they can send me to Latvia, where is my home and family yeah. and so on, but they told me that they must send me to Finland. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a person who has a home, but in fact he has no home. That is uh, uh, well, the truth. I think that I go to Latvia by plane, not to not be to have con contacts with Estonian police. Uh -huh. But you think that in Latvia you will be able to stay there? Well, of course, of course. Uh -huh. I was... Uh, but uh, you won't have uh, the rights as a Latvian and the EU citizen should actually have, like yes. uh, civil rights, like a right to work, uh, and uh, not only in Latvia but in other European countries, and also the right to vote and to be elected. You are deprived of these yes. rights because yes. of this uh, period in Latvian history which has been wiped yes. out. Yes, we understand. Okay, so I wish you good return to your home and I wish that your home becomes really your home. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with, this, with this passport? With this passport, if I live uh, less than a year in Finland or in, or in Germany or in Ireland, mm -hmm. I can vote here. Yes, in Finland. Yes, but I live 40, uh, about 50 years in Latvia and I can't vote there. 
with this passport. Really? Show me <laughs> this. Show me this useless uh, non-passport. Mm. Okay. It, what's written there? What's written uh, at the? Nepal Sonia Pass. Uh, in Latvian, that means non-citizen passport. 